Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. All right, folks, we have Lele with us today. She is a wonderful and talented singer, pop singer out of Detroit, and uh, we're going to find out a little bit about her today. Say hello to everybody, Lele. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone watching the Skype. There you go. Okay, and uh, you were born in Detroit? Correct. Oh, wow. What was it like growing up there? I think whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, it's, well, I live in the suburbs, so not the city area, so I guess it's like every other person's hometown. Okay. And uh, what was going on when you grew up where you lived um, that, that, that kind of shaped you into the person you are? I know you have a very loving and supporting mother and father, and, and that's really great to have. And, yeah. Okay. So what was going on when you were growing up that shaped you into the person you are today? Well, obviously your parents do, like you were saying. Um, I was influenced by a lot of different music. I wouldn't necessarily say it was all Detroit influenced. I've always been, when I was younger, I was always fascinated with New York and L.A. because, you know, everyone thinks those are the places to make it, which isn't necessarily true, I realize now. But when I was younger, I would cry because I didn't live there. But my influences when I was younger were like Britney Spears, Spice oh, Girls, wow. Hillary Duff, hey. Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> but now they're a little bit different. Now I like uh, all types of musics and not music. Music. Um, I like Lana Del Rey, Lady Gaga. Uh, I like metal, hardcore, rap. I like everything now. So all jazz. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, uh, at what age did you start following the uh, the singer's path? Have you always been a singer? Were you, were you like walking around, one of those girls who sang before you spoke and all that good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I think in um, our garage or our driveway or backyard when I was younger, and all the neighbors would yell, shut up. The one that was <laughs> <laughs> and um, I would make my own music videos. I would also try to be, act, I would try to act too. I would cut out magazines, magazine pictures of like uh, Avril Lavigne or whoever my favorite singers were, and they would all be characters, and then I would play the characters, and one time, <laughs> <laughs> one time I was making a video, um, and we were all like the teenagers in high school, and then I'm like, she's going to play this one, she's going to play the weirdo, and then I go, I'm going to play the dork, even though I'm not a dork. <laughs> <laughs> <You were. laughs> and I was a dork. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I asked this question twice because we like your people to know what's going on with you. Do you have any shows coming up or any new releases coming out or any videos coming out that you're going to put on the Internet and stuff? Um, not shows, those I'm working on. I, I just got in the studio and recorded two songs. I'm going back tonight to finish one of them. And then tomorrow I'm recording another one. And so videos will probably come with those. So I have those to look forward to, which I'll, it'll probably, I'll probably almost have enough for an EP. So then I'll have oh, that. Oh, good. But that's what I think I need. Just to have, you know, a variety of different sounds so people know who you really are. Okay. And I, I'm... I don't want you to mention any names because you might get in trouble. But your mom was telling me that you've worked with a lot of people that have ripped you off and that, you know, this is kind of a warning to other artists that might be coming up. So why don't you tell us about that experience? Um, well, I guess you can find good and bad. Bad as in there's not as much room to spend money. You have to be more cautious because a lot of it is gone. But... It also, a lot of my music inspiration has come from that. So I guess you make, you get the good and bad out of it because I like it because I don't just come forth and say what I'm talking about. So it gave me the idea and inspiration, but you still kind of have to think about it and figure it out. Well, that's a good positive way to look at things, learning from mistakes, learning from the crooks, and how to avoid them and all that good stuff. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay. Um, now, now, tell me about your fans. You, I understand from your mom that you're getting like thousands and thousands of hits to your videos. And do you communicate with your fans on like Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff? And and tell us about them, yeah. Um. 
They originally found me because I had a song, Money Whore, everyone says is more Gaga inspired, which I am trying to stray away from. But that's what some liked about me. So they found me because they thought it was a Gaga leak, and that's how it all started. I think someone posted it on a blog. Um, I think it was Tumblr. Tumblr, yeah, Tumblr. Someone posted it, and then my Twitter just started going da ding, da ding, da ding, da ding. <laughs> <laughs> these notifications. So I left my notifications on, and then out of nowhere, ding, 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 ding. So oh, that was. Yeah, that's where they came from. A lot of them were Brazilians at first. Um, I think <laughs> found me, yeah, so they were funny. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are busy with school now, but I try to keep in touch with them. Most of, I was talking to them on Twitter at first, and then I think people are getting over Twitter, and they're going more towards Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just had a friend tell me about Instagram today and how to get hooked up with that, so I got to get, <laughs> get, get hooked up with that, too. Anyway... Um, Going back over your career, the last two years, why don't, you, why don't you tell us a funny story about, you know, the, maybe even the funniest story of something that happened to you along the way that, that made you laugh. <laughs> um, of, like, the crazy stories you're saying? There you go, yeah. Oh, the crazy lady in a porch. Good one. Okay, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of this myself, but my mom just thought of it. Okay, we had just moved into the apartment in L.A. because we lived there for, like, nine months. And so this lady with, I don't know what religion she was, but, you know, she had, like, the scarf on. And, like, that's fine, whatever. But our door was unlocked because, you know, it wasn't a bad area. And then I don't know where she just walked in our apartment and she couldn't speak English. So we were like, what's going on? And we're like, oh, she probably has the same one. We locked the door. She's banging on it. She's trying to break oh it. Oh, my I think gosh. She, yeah, she, we found out later on she had Alzheimer's. And oh, someone usually watches her, and I don't know, they weren't there or something. So she thought our apartment was her. So she was, like, cursing at us. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that was funny, but that inspired a song. I had started writing a song called Crazy like, about something else, but then that kind of helped you know, finish the song. Yeah, a good deal. All right. Now, coming through your career so far, what's been the most challenging aspect of getting your music out there and, and all that good good stuff? Look at radio. Yeah, radio. Um, I think also just getting people to listen to you in general because whenever uh -huh. you talk to people, they just automatically assume you're going to suck because you're no one. So it's giving getting people to give you a chance. So you kind of you kind of have to put it in front of their face otherwise they're not going to do it. They're not going to click it. People are so lazy now. Oh, so yeah. it's finding a way to get it right in front of them. And that, that's where some marketing comes. Well, that's why radio is so good, which is hard to get. Mhm. Mm at a smaller level, but radio is what pushes it in people's face cuz they're like, "Oh, they're on the radio. They're good then." Yeah, there you go. It's it's yeah, it's good for your image. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. The song could even be bad, but they're on the radio. I don't care. That's just how people are. Now, do you travel a lot, or do you stay pretty much there in Detroit? Um, mostly here, but I went when we we went to LA for nine months, so that's kind of when I started, and then I did two shows in Texas and went to Atlanta. So I went to a couple of places. I think didn't we go to? Well, where were we? Indiana. When mm -hmm. Indiana. Oh, the Michael Jackson. You know, yeah, Jackson we went to family. Michael Jackson charity event, and then I got to perform in front of his family, which was pretty oh cool. Oh, my gosh. That's an yeah. honor. I'm like, yeah, they're watching. <laughs> but right. that was more on the spot. I wasn't prepared, so now I'm, like, pissed. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, it could have been better. Have you worked in both small venues and large venues? Yeah, the the Michael Jackson event was a big venue, uh, but a decent amount of people. And then the Texas show was at Schlitterbahn in South Padre, Texas, which is a water park, so that one was huge. Mm -hmm. And I opened for Wiz Khalifa along with a couple other people. So All that right. was probably the biggest one. Okay, now seeing where you are now, where do you want to be in five years? Taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 
All right. That's all I know what to say. <laughs> in my head. Okay. Um, do you support any causes like uh, animal rights or vegetarianism or anything like that, or are you pretty much just a normal girl who just lives her life and doesn't worry about that kind of stuff? Um, I wouldn't say I necessarily don't support them, but I don't really do anything for them. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I think with the more success, the more you're able to get into that stuff. I mean, that's not an excuse. A normal person still could. But I think, you know, the more money you have and the more spotlight you have, it's better to get out there and do that stuff. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, uh, we've come to the end of the interview, so we're going to go over the shows and releases again. <laughs> okay, what are your what are your what videos do you have coming out? Videos I don't have yet. Um, I'm okay. working on the song that I'm finishing tonight is called Victim. Oh wow! And they all kind of go within the same theme. That's my whole plan for the album. They all have they're all slightly continued on each other. Um, that's all the videos that I already have out now are in order or a sideways view of the same story mm -hmm. so kind of what the album would be a sideways view of each story so even if they weren't full full crazy quality amazing videos I still want at least like a little visual for each song uh -huh. to tell the story with so that's what I victim goes continued on to the oh, last good song. deal and then we also just did a fun one called Dollar Sign. That, one, that one's more, you know, hip hop, which isn't my style, but I thought it'd be fun, you know, just to mix it up. Yeah, it there you go. Yeah. And then another one tomorrow is called Patrol and Boy. <laughs> now that video, Power, I really like that. I like where you drink the little thing there, and all of a sudden you're there with the karate expert, and you look like you know that stuff. You do really good on that. I think I everybody should watch that. Video. <laughs> yeah, that one's definitely my favorite song, and the videos obviously continued. I say Money Horror is my favorite video visually, but Power I love too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like learning the kickboxing I'm like oh my god <laughs> all right now is there anything you want your fans to know about you that we haven't covered yet know about me hmm. something personal something secret what kind of ice cream do you like oh shit um, it has the brownie and cookie dough chunks. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, folks. This has been Lele. She's really a great person, and you're really going to love it when you see her. We're going to post her video interview. We're going to post some pictures in her bio, and maybe we'll even post a couple of her videos on there and, and let you see what she's all about. So, Lele, thank you very much for the interview. I really appreciate it, and it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Well, kind of meeting you. <laughs> I trip over my words. That's okay. I trip over mine, too. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.